Hey guys, what's up? My name is Flaregun, and uh, in this uh, video, I'm going to be starting a new series, and basically what this is, is this is learning to use Sony Vegas. Um, it's exactly what the title is. Basically, um, these first couple of episodes, I'm going to be actually showing you guys what Vegas is, um, the different parts of it. So obviously, the beginning here is going to be a little beginner, but some of my advanced subscribers, uh, you guys can can watch these and maybe you'll pick up some cool tips along the way um this is sony vegas pro 10 the new one that came out not too long ago um so in this first episode i'm going to be showing you guys what each feature actually does and how you actually operate on sony vegas so first what i'd like to talk about is the layout now that's how everything looks um as you see here we have a timeline on the bottom you have some tabs over here on the left um, we'll get to those in a second you have a trimmer here this is called a trimmer this box but if you go up here and click the X button you don't really need this when you're when you're beginning you're not going to use this that much so that'll give us a lot of room and you can uh, see our tabs here um, and also this mixer this is the, the how you like this is going into audio editing and you're not going to do that um, until you get more used to Vegas so I would recommend keeping this because you can actually see if your audio clips or not um, what what the power level of your audio is so what you do is you cl uh, drag these dots and I would put it on top of your video track and just switch to your video track so that it makes a tab system over here to where you can switch between the two and I like that better um, but it's all personal preference you can do whatever you want um, and I also like to make more room for my tabs by clicking in between the video and the tab and making my uh, my preview screen a little bit smaller over here um, so this is the layout that I, I work with um, you can also go into view windows layouts and you can save this so you can do save loadout as and you can name it and press ok um, and if you ever mess up you want to go to default just go to view window layouts default and it'll set everything and uh... this is this is the thing i like to roll with pretty much is this setup so it's pretty much what i just did in the beginning so that's basically the layout of um... of sony vegas um, so now i'm going to be explaining each thing let me start with the tabs over here okay so the explorer this is where you're actually going to find clips and actually put them into vegas you can do it another way which i'll show you um, but you, as you can see, you have a little browser here. You can go to your computer. I recommend going to your users and then just like um, finding the videos that you want. And uh, we'll talk about dragging them in and how you get them in the timeline and everything like that. So that's that. You can find all your pictures, video, audio, all in here in the Explorer. Or you can go to the Project Media. Now the Project Media, you can right click and like import stuff. Oh no, no, you can't. Never mind. Um, you can click this button, Import Media. You can go to File, Import Media. Um, or you can actually record with Vegas, like um, tapes and stuff that you have on your camera. Um, but also, what you, what's going to happen is anything you bring into the timeline or import, it's going to show up in this blank space called the project media. And at any time, if you delete it in the timeline or anything, it's going to be here and you can just drag it back. And it's already going to be loaded up because it's in your project media. So um, all your files that you use in your project are always going to be in here unless you delete them. So delete them from your project media. So that's pretty much that. Um, it's basically where you're viewing all the stuff that you've brought in. Um, transitions, pretty self-explanatory. Um, the, the ones with the blue squares, I've gotten separately. So you don't need to worry about those. You won't have those um, to begin with. So don't worry about those. Um, basically what you do is you put them in between clips. And it does a preset transition. And it gives you a little preview if you put your mouse over it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I don't think I have to go into that. Um, video effects. Now this is what you actually... Um, used to put any kind of effect, and like I said, the ones right here, the new blue with the with the um the blue square, those those are uh, mine that I got. So um, don't worry about those. So this is the effects you can adjust the brightness, you can chroma key. Um, like chroma key is a green screen that you put behind people, and you cr and you take everything out that's green. Um, so basically you can put them in space or whatever you put behind them. Um, black and white, you know, you can, you can do a lot of stuff with this. And basically what you do is when there's a clip in the, in the timeline, you just drag it on the clip and, uh, it'll do that effect. And there's also something else you can do with that. Um, I'll explain, um, media generators. Now these are actually clips. Um, see, so you'll have all the ones with the blue squares. These are default. Um, you can add text by this. You can, uh, drag it in and it'll bring up a little pop-up window window that you can edit your text and everything like that um, 
So that's cool. You can also put like uh, some credit texts like that. It has some presets, some you know just regular like pictures. These are just pictures that you can bring in. You have like large tiles and a horizon and split screen. Um, excuse me. Um, you can put gradients and all sorts of stuff with the media generator. So this this is just stuff that like pictures that it gives you or so, uh, and uh, you can like um, edit it and stuff and text. So that's pretty much it for this over here. I know that's kind of long, and I'm sorry for that. Um, so the video preview over here is your black screen. This is actually where you're going to be seeing a preview of your video that you're playing. So you can actually go up here and adjust the quality. Now, preview half is what I stay on because, you know, if you have some HD footage, it's going to lag, obviously. Um, unless you have a really beast computer, I, uh, I recommend putting it to preview. Um, any of these are fine, um, except quarter. That puts it to a little kind of bad quality like pixelated and everything so I recommend half up to auto um, so that's that's that um, you can also take a screenshot right here of what's on your video screen but it uh, does matter what quality setting this is on for the screenshot so I recommend putting best full when you take a screenshot um, you can also go into the project properties from here now this is the next thing um, the project properties is basically what video settings you have on your Vegas uh, save or whatever um, you can actually set these manually by width and height uh, the pixel aspect ratio the frame rate um, the rendering quality but or you can go to match media settings clicking that button that I just clicked on finding your clip in here and press open and it'll actually match everything automatically for you and that's pretty handy you can also click right here rename it like camera and then press this button to save it so that's pretty cool that's handy um, and then what you want to do is start all new projects if you're going to use that regularly those settings and press OK or whatever um, so once you have everything matched up you can actually start bringing things into the timeline now for examples purposes I'm just going to add um, some a solid color, color picture um, that Vegas has by default. So what you would do when you want to bring something in from your Explorer, Project Media, or w Media Generators, or anything, is you want to click on it and drag it to the timeline. Now you see that it brings in a box, and now this is what actually is your footage and how long it's going to last and everything. And it's going to create a video track for us as I let go. So I just let go. My uh, Vegas is lagging. And basically ignore this window that popped up real quick. Um, this right here is a video track and it displays um, all the stuff that for your video and you can create multiple ones to, to have layers of stuff and uh, and you can actually edit this color in here that's what the option is um, so as you see here my little cursor when I drag it over that you'll see that the video screen changes to that and um, so you can you can uh, drag things you can make them shorter um, to slow down and speed up you have to hold control that'll be a different episode but um so yeah and whenever you want to edit something that you that you that's a media generator or text you click the top button on this three and if if it's too short to see it like I'll show for example it'll disappear if it's too short you can either zoom in and click on it or you can right click and hit edit generated media and this will pop up so you can also create video tracks manually by doing by right clicking or and doing that or going to like insert video track audio track um, so audio tracks are basically self-explanatory. That's where you keep your audio. You can adjust the levels over here, um, and it, the the audio will actually uh, bump up like a mixer over here. It has a mini mixer right where my mouse is. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, so basically, down here you can see the buttons. This is this is uh, right over here where it's on the video over here. This is only available for Vegas 10. The the buttons are under the screen, so uh, that's why mine have that. Uh, you can you can start from the beginning. You can play, pause, stop, go all the way to the beginning, go to the end. Um, you can go frame by frame. So that's really cool. Um, so that's pretty much what I have for you guys today. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you got a little more uh, secure on Vegas um, and subscribe for the next episode. So see you guys.